all I remember about Damien yeah. is that old, creepy movie. So how, what are you doing with this show? Is this just for the new generation? Um, no, where this is, yes, it's for the new generation, but our character, Damien, is that same little boy from that creepy old movie, and he's grown up. It's 20, we're saying it's 25 years down the road, he's 30 years old, and the events of that um, original film took place in his life, all those characters existed, and we'll find out some new information about those, and we are definitely a sequel to that original film. So... This TV show is going to use um, the same type of uh, canon stuff from the movie, so fans of the movie will can easily follow uh, this. Yeah, I think fans of the original movie are going to be excited about what we do, how we go in, how we explain certain things that happened, what came next. We're only um, taking the first movie as part of our canon, not the the other two sequels, and so we're putting we're making uh, you know we're making the material our own, but we're definitely. Um, very, very um, dedicated and committed to honoring that first film. Now, how is Damien going to be similar and different from, you know, the stuff that we are experienced in the past? Well, you, you know, what's very similar, that's a great question, nobody's really asked that. What's similar is that in that first film, you know, there's a lot of macabre deaths, and there's a lot of, you definitely feel like the devil is a a force to be reckoned with. That is something that's uh, where we're drawing a lot of our horror from. The difference is that we have a character who is um, probably has less information than the audience. Mm -hmm. So as he's going through this process of discovery, he's taking actions that's affecting things around him, that's affecting the world. So we're, uh, it's great to have that original film as a starting point, and now we're just going on and making it our own. Now, how is he different, though? Obviously, he's probably mature, right? Maybe he thinks he knows his powers? Well, he's mature. He's learning. You know, we're saying still that... Still learning. He's still learning those powers. We're saying that he's he's um, gone through a spell, not, not a magical spell, but he's gone through a period in which he's been denying, you know, this evil around him. And I think when the show opens, you know, he's got no place left to run. He's got no place left to hide. Terrific. And um, one last question I do want to know is what kind of tone are we actually talking about? Because I, if I remember, I was scared when I actually, you know, it was creepy and scary. But, you know, being a TV show, this has well, to take a different... Well, you know, we're, we're, we're going to push the envelope. And we are doing material in which the creative team, the writers, the directors, the actors, the executives who are working on the show... People are nervous, you know, we're, we're, we're going for it. And we're, you know, definitely spending a lot of time thinking about our tone, mm -hmm. making sure we're getting that in the, in the, in the can. And we're excited about it. So I, I think this show is going to come out. And if we do our jobs right, people are going to be scared. Terrific. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.